Okay, fifth grade, lesson 103. And today we're going to be learning about volume. Go ahead and write that word down. Volume. Okay? Now, so far, um, one of the things you've learned about that's similar to volume is called area. And what did I tell you was the formula for area? Uh, length, length times width. Length times width it gives you the area. Now, what do you always have to remember about area when you multiply two different measures is that you're going to have, let's say that it was four times two, and these were centimeters, two centimeters and four centimeters. If I said four times two is eight, but then you also have to multiply the centimeters. Centimeters times centimeters is centimeters squared. Now, what I've taught you so far is to just say eight squared. Remember me okay. teaching you that? Square centimeters. Okay? But basically what you're doing is multiplying two numbers, so you also have to multiply their measures, so it's centimeters squared. Okay. Okay? Volume is a little bit different. It has three measures. So, let me show you an example of area. Area is there is a length. From, look, you see this note card? Mm -hmm. There's a length and there's a width. Is there a height? No. No. So area just has length and width. So because this is a note card, this is probably three by five okay. inches. So if I were to measure the area of this entire portion on the inside, I would do three times five, which is what? Three uh. inches. Three inches times five inches. What, good. what would the uh, answer be? Uh, Fifteen. Fifteen, and then inches times inches makes inches squared. Basically, when you're multiplying measures, inches, centimeters, whatever, you always, because area is always multiplying two numbers, so you're always going to put inches squared because you're always working with two numbers. Or, if you want to say that you're multiplying inches times inches, it makes inches squared. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Okay, volume is not just length times width. Volume is also height. So I have a length, I have a width, but I also have a height. Okay. So when you're working with volume, it's a 3D image. This one is a 2D image because it has two dimensions, length and width. This one is a 3D object because it has three. D means dimensions, length, width, and height. This is how long the product is, this is how wide the product is, and this is how high the product is. Okay. Got it? So volume formula is this, Eli. Length times width times height. So we add one more measurement. Okay. So that's the difference between volume and area. An example of area would be your mom or dad went to the store, the carpet store or tile store and wanted to cover the bathroom floor. That's something you would use area because you're not building something up high, you're just covering the ground, right? Mm -hmm. So you're gonna measure the length and the width to find the area. Volume is like an aquarium. How much water do I fill this aquarium with? You would take the length of the Aquarium, the width of the aquarium, and the height of the aquarium, and that would tell us how much it is takes to fill it up, and that would tell us how much volume of water we need. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So, volume is three measurements, so guess what? It's going to have, instead of two right here, a yeah, three. three. Yeah, very good, and it's called cubed. Volume is called cubed, area is called squared. Okay, so let me show you an example. Um, let's say I'm going to draw a square up here, or a cube up here, okay? Did you write down that formula? What? Oh, volume length. equals length times width mm -hmm. times height. Mm -hmm. You're going to need to know that. Times width times width. Okay, now pretend I had a Rubik's Cube. Okay. Okay, you see how it's split off into different things? I'm going to try to draw one up here, okay? So just stay with me for just a second. And you can even draw it if you want to on yours. It's kind of hard. I drew one. Okay. 
Mine's kind of deformed. This one. Okay. There's my box. Now, we're going to put the, uh, show the different cubes in here. Okay, can you kind of see that? Yes. Okay, so stay with me for a minute. Let me actually make this so it looks better. Okay, can you kind of tell that? All right. Now, Eli, looking at this picture, we're going to have a length a width and a height. Okay? Help me determine what our length of this is. Okay, we can make this one the length and this one the width, or this one the length and this one the width. Okay? So it doesn't okay. matter. Let's just do length and width. Okay? How long is this? How many cubes? Two. Two cubes long. How many wide? Two. Okay? And how many tall? Two. One, two. Good. So, if I were working this problem, I would go to, um, let's say this is centimeters, two centimeters times two centimeters times two centimeters. So I would get two times two is four, four times two is eight. And centimeters times centimeters times centimeters equals centimeters cubed. So the answer to this, what fills this up is eight cubes. Okay, so um, let's try another one. Okay, this one looks like this. And this time I'm just going to draw the box so we don't have to do the cubes. If I had sugar cubes, that would be great for me to show you how to do this. But I don't. Oops. <laughs> I'm having trouble drawing. Line, three centimeters, two centimeters, and two centimeters. Okay, so this one is telling me that I have two centimeters. Let's go ahead and put it. What is our formula? Right. Uh, volume, volume equals oh, length times length width times height. width times height. Okay, so let's take this and you actually could insert any of these numbers um, anywhere, but let's go ahead and do two centimeters here, three centimeters wide and two centimeters high, okay? Two times three is six, six times two is 12, this times this times this, centimeters cubed. The answer for this problem, for the volume, is 12, is 12 centimeters cubed, okay? Okay. So like you got it, let's say you do one on your paper, and I'm gonna draw all the measurements, okay? This is like a cereal box, okay? Okay, there's a cereal box, and here's what they tell me. It is seven and seven eighths of an inch long. Now, we're going to estimate. So what would be an estimation? We learned this the other day. What is this closer to? Between which two numbers eight. is seven? Yes, so between, it's between seven and eight, and because um, it's seven eighths, it's closer to the eight. So we're going to say that this is eight inches. All right, then let's look at this one. This is our width right here. Do you see this? Mm -hmm. This is how long it is. This is how wide it is. And it tells me it is two and three fourths. Now let's estimate this one. Between which two numbers is this one? Uh, two and three, two. and I think it's it would be closer to three. It would be closer to three because half of it is two fourths, so it's three fourths, so it's more than half. So we're gonna make this one. Three inches, okay? And then the, the height of this cereal box is 12 and one-eighths of an inch. So that would be closer to 12. So it's closer to 12 because um, it's only one its way it, one, if it were. all the way to eight. Yeah. Okay? So this one's 12 inches. Now, help me find the volume of this cereal box. What is on the inside? How much volume? It'd be three times eight, and then that answer times 12. 24 times 12. So let's do that. 24 times 12. 4 times 2 is 8. 2 times 2 is 4. 1 times 4 is 4. 1 times 2 is 2. Move this out of the way. 
have a problem. Okay, so I'm going to fill this in with 0. 8 plus 0 is 8. 4 plus 4 is 8. And 2 is 8. I'm going to add that 0 right there. So 288. And how would I answer it? 288. Oh, uh, square inches. Inches. inches like 1, 2, 3 inches cubed. That's how you say it. Okay. Okay? All right. And another way that they write it is some people just say this, 288 cubic inches. And if you want to say that, that's fine because you see the cube. But this three means cubed in math when you're working with exponents at the top. Okay? Okay. All right. Do you understand that? Yeah. Okay. That is lesson 103.